Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to this week's Sub Saturdays, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, it is a horrible, horrible time to be a YouTuber, perhaps the worst time. If you're unaware, a large amount of very big companies are pulling their ads from YouTube and or have already pulled their ads in an effort to boycott the platform because their videos are showing up next to white supremacy videos, anti-Semitism, general hatred. There's not really a way for them to control where their ads appear. Almost all YouTubers are being affected by this because either A, their videos are being demonetized, meaning they can't make money from them uh, because they have controversial titles or controversial subjects, or B, their revenue has been decreased significantly because ads just aren't worth as much right now. Now, I belong in the second camp and I got hit pretty damn hard. Um, it was actually a shock to me because someone mentioned it on the stream. I didn't even realize this was going on. And then I checked my Google analytics or my YouTube analytics. And uh, I am making currently like less than 40% of what I was making two weeks ago. And it goes across the board. Some YouTubers are making 80%. Some YouTubers are making like as low as 20%. Now that is pretty damn bad. Imagine if whatever job you work at right now, whether you work at the bottom level of McDonald's or whether you're a, a heart surgeon, imagine if you woke up one day and you were making 40% of what you made the day before and you had no idea if that was gonna change. That's what most, if not all YouTubers are going through right now. It's a scary, scary time. Now, I know there's a vocal minority out there that sort of relishes that this is happening. Uh, there's always been that vocal minority that doesn't like the fact that YouTubers or Twitch streamers make money from what they do. But the fact is, be a human, have some empathy. Just think about all the people. Don't don't even worry about me. Don't even think about me personally. Just imagine all of the people now that can't even feed their families and that are worried if they will be able to feed their families because they're making less than half of what they made like two weeks ago. The bottom line is right now, more than ever, ladies and gentlemen, we need your support as YouTubers, as content creators, as whatever you want to call us. Now, obviously, this applies to me. I've been hit pretty hard. I, I don't really know... Uh, how hard other people have been hit in comparison to me. I don't I don't know what the statistics are. Like I said, I've heard anywhere from 80% to 20%. I seem to be somewhere in the middle, but again, that's still like half of what I was making. Um, so e even though this applies to me, even if you guys don't want to do all of this extra stuff for me, just think about there's people in way worse spots than I am, and they could really use your help. And the way that you can help, I'm going to outline all of it in front of you right now. So you guys have heard me say this before. There's usually two ways to support your favorite YouTubers, uh, either paid or non-paid. And if you don't have the extra funds to help them with actual money, uh, that's totally fine. There's still a million things you guys can do to help us. Um, the first thing is obviously everything involving videos, liking the videos, sharing the videos, just watching the videos. If you do have ad block, whitelisting the videos, all of that stuff is absolutely free. Uh, whitelisting the YouTubers channel sorry which will show ads on their channel but you still won't get ads anywhere else all of that stuff is totally free and uh, it really 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 does help us out uh, also if you if your favorite youtuber does have a twitch channel you can subscribe if they are partnered you can subscribe with twitch prime it's free for you but they get all of the money for a subscription now if you have a little bit of extra funds to spare and you want to help your favorite youtuber more directly there are ways to do that too a lot of YouTubers have Patreons, including myself, where you can become a patron, pledge a certain amount of money per month, get rewards and prizes. I try to make mine personally uh, really worth it with a lot of different benefits and stuff. You can also subscribe to them on Twitch uh, without Twitch Prime. It doesn't really matter because it's the same thing, but if you don't have money, use Twitch Prime. If you do have money, you can just do a normal subscription. Um, that will help them out if they're partnered on Twitch. Also, you can buy their merch. I currently don't have any merch, um, and I don't really have any plans to right now but if they have merchandise you can buy that there's also uh, YouTube fan funding it's like on the right of people's channel you can click it and donate but I don't think a lot of people use that although if you do do that I think you get a little tag on your uh, YouTube username that says you've donated now look I don't want to come off like I'm begging for money and that this video is about me this is not about me this is about YouTube as a whole content creators 
as a whole. I'm in a scary situation, but so is pretty much everybody from the bottom rung on the ladder to the top rung. Even those people that have already made millions off of YouTube, uh, you know, this is going to change their way of life too. It's a pretty scary thing for everyone involved. You guys don't have to do this stuff. Obviously, you didn't sign a contract. YouTube is free. It's always been free. All I'm saying is that we could really, 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 really use your guys' support more than ever. More than ever. And probably more than ever, ever. <laughs> for me personally, if this doesn't get rectified, if this is how YouTube is from now until the foreseeable future, um, I will have to go and get another job. I will have to go find another source of income, which I will be able to do. This is not like, uh, guys, you need to donate all of your money to me now, or I'm, or I'm, I'm just going to waste away. No, it's nothing like that, but I'm just saying that for me, for my personal channel and Twitch channels and stuff, um, if this doesn't get rectified, I will have to go get another job. I will have to go find another source of income. Uh, but I will never quit YouTube. I will never quit Twitch. I love doing YouTube. I love doing Twitch. I love making videos. I love streaming. So I'm never going to quit that. The worst case scenario is if this seriously does not get fixed, if this seriously just stays like this for forever, um, the amount of videos, the amount of streams will be significantly reduced because obviously I just will not have time. So whether or not you want to support me personally, either through the free ways I illustrated or the paid ways that I illustrated, just know that this is happening to everyone. There's obviously YouTubers smaller than me. There's obviously YouTubers right on the cusp of where I am and YouTubers that are a bit bigger than me and then YouTubers that are already really uh, established. But it's happening to everyone and every single one of them can use your support. I'm positive about the future. Well, I'm realistic. I'm not, I'm not really a, a, an optimist. I'm just realistic and realistically looking at the situation, big companies like Coke and Pepsi, they can't afford to stay off YouTube forever because obviously YouTube is, I think at this point, the most consumed uh, video format in the world. I think I'm not sure on the statistics, so they can't afford to stay away forever. They will come back. Um, and YouTube far too many people rely on this as their job, as a way of income and, and stuff like that. So I think it will rectify itself. The only thing I'm worried about is that once it's done, once YouTube implements the ways that these companies can, uh, sort of pick and choose which videos their ads appear on, I think like the only way that happens is that YouTubers across the board, their revenue goes down. So very scary, but I am hopeful, realistic um, for the future. So that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's not a good situation. There's not really anything good to be gained from it uh, from a YouTuber's perspective. It's a scary situation. Um, it's as scary as any time your job would be threatened, your way of life would be threatened. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a good one, but, uh, regardless, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful for the future. Um, thank you all for your past, your present, your future support. I really, 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 really do appreciate it. Without us, we're not, without you, we're nothing as YouTubers, without our fan base, without you guys, without all of the support that you guys give, we're literally nothing. So yeah, thank you. Um, thank you for listening to me. Again, even if you don't want to support me personally, everyone could use your help. So go find a YouTuber with like, I don't know, 10,000 subscribers and, and give him something or just like his videos, you know, just like their videos, whatever, whatever, guys. It's it's scary for everybody as a YouTuber. It's, it's really, really a bad situation, but that's okay. I'm going to continue uh, doing this as best and as much as I can. We'll see how this turns out. I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.